Big Warlock or Handlock or whatever you want to call it got one of the best cards in the entire set with Forge of Wills. A three mana location with two charges that lets you choose a friendly minion and you summon a giant with its stats and rush. So our best target is going to be the Imposing Anubisath, a 4 mana 7 7 with taunt that can't attack, but it can defend. And the giant we summon with its stats is just a 7 7 rusher. And for another target, I'm even playing the Angry Hellhound, a 4 mana 2 5 with rush that has plus 4 attack on our turn, making it a 6 5 for the Forge of Wills to copy. Another sick card this deck got is Loken, Jailer of Yogg-Saron, a 6 mana minion with a battle cry that discovers a minion from our deck, and then summons a taunt with stats equal to that minion's. So we are of course playing Thaddeus that can give us an 11-11 taunt immediately, but there's also Phanatim, Lord of the Opera, which can give us a 15-15 taunt. And when we make a giant minion like that, we can combine it with Forge of Wills to make another 15-15 minion. It's just a totally disgusting stat swing for only 6 mana. We also got Wing Welding, a 4 mana board clear that discards the highest cost card in our hand and does damage to all minions equal to its mana cost. So with Thaddeus we can deal 10 to everything for 4 mana, with Phanatim we can deal like 25. It's just an insane amount of damage for a board clear on turn 4. And finally, of course, we have Warlock's Titan, Sargeras the Destroyer, a 9 mana 6 12 Titan with a battle cry that opens a portal that summons two 3-2 imps at the end of each of our turns. Its first Titan ability gives plus two health and taunt to anything that comes out of the portal, so we get three fours with taunt every turn. The next ability summons two six sixes out of the portal, which also benefit from the plus two health and taunt if we've used that. And finally, we can send all other minions into the Twisting Nether, which you would assume works like Twisting Nether, but it doesn't actually destroy those targets. It just poofs them away. They don't get death rattles or anything. So even just as a nine mana board clear, this card is sick, but then it's also an infinite value win condition. Absolutely disgusting card in the right matchups. And overall, the deck is pretty solid. I went nine and five personally. Demon Hunter. I've played against very little Demon Hunter this expansion. I guess it's probably just relics? Oh, I actually haven't played against a single Demon Hunter. Wow. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I guess they basically got no new cards, so understandable. But people were hyping up that legendary Jotun. It is relics, by the way. Um, I do have Forge of Wills into Skip a Turn, then Coin Loken. That can be pretty good. So I probably just go Anubisath plus Forge next turn. Delay Loken by a turn in order to get a 7-7 seven, seven a turn earlier. Definitely seems appropriate. It is our time to this. Amorphous Slime, but I don't have an Undead minion. Why would I want this? Well, looks like we're coining Loken. Loken can also draw into Thaddeus for Amorphous Slime, which is pretty good. Good job, Loken. Okay. 
They've made so many 1-1s. One and I'm not sure that any of them were actually from their deck. Uh, wow, you're real, real close to being dead, huh? I think I actually would have preferred discarding Flesh Behemoth, because then it would have pulled Dark Hondrothir. Dark Hondrothir would be lethal, and I could even res it for lethal sometimes. But I would say, overall, I feel pretty good about the state of things. Okay, wait. Another relic of extinction could maybe... Nah, you got kind of wrecked. We definitely love Forge of Wills. Maybe I keep Loken to go with it? Could just be a huge blowout. Oh, Forge of Wills into Anubisath and then Loken on 6 instead of 5. Probably good. I guess maybe my curve here is actually forge into forge into coin Loken. That's probably the most, uh, the more explosive opener. Alright, give me a good target, Loken. Juicy. Well, it should be pretty hard for them to kill me here, even with a one mana egg one. And uh, I'm obviously threatening lethal, but they can always have solid alibi. Got a dig for the alibi, I see. I'm just happy to know that I'm not getting blizzarded. Okay. Reverb is actually pretty nuts here. But I'm still showing 18. Or I guess I'm showing 15 only. Surely these things aren't undead, right? Yeah. Uh, do I know? I do not know what they took. I don't... Hmm. I feel like they would just take Discovery. Yes, the right, the one. Can heal here. I don't know if that's important. I also have this for healing. Let's just keep it simple. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Push 18 damage. That's the Eggwin minion. But they still need to spend multiple sources of damage. I guess it can be hero power. That's a hell of a nature spell. Pop it off. I could reverb an egg one. I don't know why I would do that, but I could. And 
then I could Bioluminescence. Could see a nice heal being pretty good. Alright, once again, we're threatening Wakel. Opponent's up to 20. I'm only showing 17. This gives a one, a two, a three, and then we can clean up with this spell. Push 14, heal for six, not bad. I did damage my board more than I would have liked, but I put myself up to a pretty healthy life total as well, which is good. The first alibi. That's fine. So if they try to stop my lethals with just Blizzard, I can always draw into Dark Ondrathir. I think that's my only card that can get through. But I can also draw into Finley to find it. Or I can wing welding to kill my own flesh behemoth to find it. Hopefully none of those cards they're getting are solid alibis. That's an interesting target. Oh, okay. You're dead. Nice. My 5 mana 48-48 got the job done, but it was way closer than I would have liked. We are up against Rogue. Maybe I just want a hard mulligan for board clears. Maybe Slime is just not even that good in this matchup. I don't know. It feels really bad to mulligan Amorphous Slime with this deck. Forge of Wills into Hellhound into Slime is a hell of a curve. It is Mech Rogue. Okay, I can play an Anubisath instead of a Hellhound, but I think there's a good chance the Hellhound will be better. That card is a bit scary, but if they only have the one Magnetic for it, maybe it's not too bad. And it's a pretty bad Magnetic. It's actually just straight up the worst Magnetic here. As long as they don't have prep plus scrap heap, I don't think the inventomatic's too scary. Okay, 10 health is really, really big. I think 6 5 just doesn't do much here. Like, I could send them both in, but I think this is good. Looks like we're stabilizing here. I mean, maybe it's possible for them to have, like, Wind Fury plus enough buffs, but I don't really think it is. Wow. 
Wow, they didn't want to push that damage, huh? I guess that's fair. I don't get any lifesteal there, unfortunately, but popping a Divine Shield might help with this trade. Okay, that is scary. But I should be able to pop my slime here. Um, I go into you. I can defile for one, two. That's it. What could Finley find? Oh, wing welding, I guess. I probably would play wing welding. Loken could be good as well. Let's just start with Finley. Wing welding for six. Yes. God, wing welding is a sick card. Up against a Warlock. I did play against this opponent earlier. I don't remember what they were playing. Surely they wouldn't have been playing Zoo, right? That would be embarrassing for them. What is Warlock Forge? Oh, we love slime. Yeah, Warlock doesn't... Oh yeah, they have the shitty Imp Forge card, but I doubt my opponent's playing that. Because that is basically not a real Hearthstone card. So is it going to be something neutral? Maybe the 2-drop that heals 6 and gives a Holy Spell? I feel like that would make sense in Warlock. Oh wait, it's probably Storm Giant. I've been seeing a lot of Storm Giant decks recently. I don't know why, that card seems awful to me, but apparently a lot of people have been having success with it. Six mana. Give me Thaddeus. Oh, Curse Warlock opponent. You've got some work to do. I can attack for five with Slime and then Chaotic Consumption to pull out the Dark Hondruth here. So I am showing 25 if they play a non-taunt minion. Actually, even... No, no. Only against a non-taunt minion. Actually, no, no, because I could just play an infantry reanimator that does nothing. That is what they forged, by the way. But I could play a reanimator that does nothing and then just double chaotic consumption. Quality. What a card to watch. Not to file, though. I'm going to life tap. Okay, I kill their Darkon and res my own. Seems pretty straightforward. I 
I could play Sargeras for 6-6s six next turn and just make an insane board. But, oh wow, that's big. But I'm a little concerned that that curse version... Uh, it's probably not playing all the undead stuff, so there's a good chance it has Gigafin. Yeah, they heal six and deal with my threat. That's pretty strong. Oh, wow. Is that... I mean, I guess they got a reborn Dark Ondor Theory, so yeah, it was pretty good. Defile's great. Defile does three. Let's just Sargeras for another. This Twisting Nether effect is a poof, by the way. So it does deal with the Reborn minion for some reason. What is this going to be? A Starfish? That's not good. Uh, maybe a Wing Welding? That'd be a reasonable card for them to put in an ETC. Okay, or it's a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. Chaotic consumption, maybe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's fine. Sargeras did his thing. Probably just pretty happy to trade these in, and then how about we slam a Thaddeus? Kinda looks like you're eating 11, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you're eating 11 for sure. Unfortunately, I don't use the Thaddeus very well here. And there's really not a whole lot I can tap into that would be good. Ten cards in hand, but one of them's a curse, so we'll just let it rock. They only have six cards, which is actually pretty low for a Warlock. And one of them is Astalore, which is definitely not going to be good here. Actually, I guess Astalore could have set up an absolutely nasty Defile, maybe. But that would be pretty unlikely. What holy spell could you this get? Like, uh, equality with a Defile, maybe? They could have a Drain Soul for Thaddeus here. Uh, I believe you are dead. Play Phantatim just for fun. Nice. Die, Curse Warlock Scum. Hunter. Wasn't Hunter supposed to be the best class? Or something like that? Haven't been playing against too many of them. Extremely yucky hand. Pretty solid turn one for the opponent. Anubisath, where are you? Well, I actually just have wing welding. That might be my play for next turn. Of pain to 
I really don't want to actually play wing welding here. Just give me an Anubisath. Or even an angry hellhound. This is so gross. We got the Anubisath. Oh, Drain Soul, though. Are you waking up? You are not. You just came out this turn. You will not come closer. 7 7 into a 5 2 is not great. But I think Drain Soul just. I don't like the way it spends my mana. And it's nice to get the 7 7 in play so I can use the other Forge on it next turn, maybe. Okay, my Anubisath got to go face. That's kind of hype. I wonder if it's worth making a 7-2 here. Where does it summon? Does it summon between the two locations? Because then it would kind of play around Hollowhound. And we're a turn before Hydralodon. These 7 twos might just be kind of sick. Or my opponent could play Explosive Trap and they would suck a lot. Okay, that's a bad start to uh, my Dodge Explosive Trap play. Taking five damage next turn. So they really just didn't get explosive, huh? Not zombies, either. I did dodge the hidden meaning here. So it's probably that. It's not freeze. Maybe motion denied? I won? What? I thought I was so dead. <laughs> 